Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we have a special show on the release date of a brand new product from Hemingway Whiskey Company, and we'll be talking about that in just a second. Pretty exciting stuff. We'll be tasting it for the first time live with you on the show. Should be fun. My name is Steve Akeley. I'm joined by Darren McCroy and Cop Brennan. What's going on, guys? Nothing. What's going on with you, Steve? Not much. Not much. We've been excited about this one, right? Yeah. 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 So, Darren, you and I for sure tried a, a previous product that had just arrived. Great yeah, stuff, right? It was great. So, it sets high expectations for what this uh, finished product. Uh, I won't tell what I was finished yet. We'll talk about that after the break. But it sets some high expectations for this uh, for this offering, doesn't it? Yes, it so, does. Yeah. So, they're in Beaver Dam, Kentucky. They're really starting to roll things out now. That's where their distillery is. I don't know that they're open for tours yet or anything like that, but. If they're not already open for that, they will be soon. This is uh, Ron Call, Jacob Call, and Clayton Call. So the father and two sons are the primary people at this particular distillery. And uh, check it out. So you may know Jacob Call from his time at Green River. Mm -hmm. Certainly was the distiller there and uh, does an excellent job making whiskey for sure. Darren, before we get to all of that stuff, you said there's something you want to talk about. What is that? So... This is obviously based off Hemingway, the author, right? This Correct. whiskey brand and stuff. Correct. What other um, are authors or public figures do you think would be okay to have a whiskey with? Because it makes so much sense with him. Is there anyone else that comes to mind that you're like, you know what, you you need a whiskey brand, yeah, and you need to do it right? Well, F. Scott Fitzgerald comes to mind right away. The guy who wrote The Great Gatsby that was about drinking and uh, supposedly was written in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, and uh, in what, the Seelbach Hotel in the basement nice. and uh, uh, interaction with uh, George Remus uh, at the time uh, it leads to one of the characters in the book and that type of thing. I mean, I think that's so intertwined with, uh, you know, drinking and, and partying and having fun. I think that's a natural uh, to have that individual there. Um, so that, that's that's who I would come up with. Renan? Any literary I figures? I don't know. I I really like uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, but I don't know if it really fits in with this, but I feel like a Middle Earth whiskey would be pretty good, you know? <laughs> you know what? You wouldn't even have to market that no, one. That would wouldn't. just sell. You wouldn't. If sure. You had, like, a whiskey Middle Earth whiskey. Middle Earth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can, yeah. like, take the barrels and put it in New Zealand and yeah, exactly. actually age them there. Age them okay. in New Zealand. Yeah, all right. Maybe age them in those hobbit holes they have down mm -hmm. there, you know? Oh, sure, sure. That, that would be that would be exciting. Uh, <laughs> uh, how about you, Darren? You? I think so. I grew up, went to Hannibal when I was younger, and all the Mark Twain history oh, that's Mark tight Twain. in there. But like, also thinking about like the people in his stories and how much they like living on a river and all of that. I think there should be a Hannibal, Missouri. Mark Twain whiskey. Mark Ta Twain or Hannibal Missouri yeah. whiskey. Okay. Or Tom Sawyer. Yeah, that makes kind of sense, I guess. Yeah. Mark Twain, I guess, has that famous whiskey quote, too. Now, whether he actually said this or not, I don't know. But too much of a good thing can be bad or too, you know, something like that. And then too much uh, good whiskey is barely enough or something like that. I don't know, I don't know how the quote goes. I see it on a lot yeah. of different things. Yeah. So, I, yeah, and again, you know how the lore goes around these things. That may or might not even be true. But, but yeah, I, I could see that. I could see. I, I just think, it, like, for everything that they have going on in Hannibal, like, they built, like, everything there is around Mark Twain. And so if they had a distillery yeah. 
that did it, it would make sense to use. He his was name. certainly a huge uh, literary figure. Had a uh, you know amazing life. If you if you follow what he, did, I mean, he traveled everywhere. I mean, yeah. I've, I've vacationed in all fifty states, and there's a lot of places where you go to, even in like Hawaii and that, like uh, Mark Twain sat on this rock. I mean, like, <laughs> literally, the, I mean, he, he went everywhere, kind of explored the world. And uh, yeah, certainly uh, someone who these days is, is you know, largely forgotten. But uh, uh, I mean, I think those in the know certainly should remember that. And, and, and yeah, we talk about whiskey history. That'd be a good one. Anybody else stand out? Authors? I don't know. I yeah. really like you, the one that you said. That was a good one. That was more in depth than I was thinking about. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That would be a good one for sure. So F. Scott Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald. whiskey would be uh, would be something. It might but, be some naming problems see, there. Heaven Hill might have a problem with if you call it Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe. I, I I don't know. Or they should just come out with it. Yeah, it, I, I sure. Mean, yeah, I mean, why not? So we're we're throwing it out there into the ether. That it could be theirs. Mm -hmm. we, we're you know. We're not expecting anything, but if you know if they were like, well, that's a great idea. We're, we'll throw these three guys, you know, a couple hundred grand a piece uh, for the idea. Oh, we would not be opposed to that. Yeah, yeah. we would right accept. Now. We would accept payment. I mean, yeah, yeah we're not and so proud. What yeah. would you name your brand at that point with those authors? Though, would it just be Mark Twain? And... I, I don't know. I think you could do a Roy, like a different release that's like the the Huckleberry, white, the picket fence. And like the Huckleberry or the yeah. River Raft, and yeah. like you can get really cool names to come up with them. Right, right. But I think I think the name would just be Twain Bourbon. Twain think Bourbon. Would, you think so? Okay. No. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Now his name was Samuel Clemens. Clemens. Would you ever play off of that and, yeah. and work? I don't know. Maybe I was just a special about that. release one. Well, yeah. Or a special release or. Uh, do yeah. like an uh, your unaged whiskey is right. Samuel Clemens because that was before he became an offer right. that he went by that, that be, or something. That, that, that might make some sense. So, yeah, yeah. yeah not, there you go. Not, not a bad rationale there. So, yeah. Again, we've thrown out a lot of good ideas. <laughs> we'll see if anybody makes a move on these. Yeah, you guys should steal them all up. I'll take yeah. royalties on this. <laughs> there, there you go. All right. What we'll do next? We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be tasting this new Hemingway Rye Special Edition whiskey. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We will also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Staven Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Go ahead, Danny. 
Is there something you need to say? Just sitting there saying that uh, plain and simple, uh, if you're sending it me to a text, you need to tell me you need to send it to me on a text. So, I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, welcome back. Again, this is Steve Akeley at the ABV Barrel Shop Tasting Bar. I'm joined by Darren and by Cop Brennan, and we're here getting ready to try something pretty special. What is the deal with this one? Let us know. So it is a straight rye whiskey that is six-year-old Indiana and four-year-old Kentucky. Okay. Blended together. That is finished in a rum-seasoned or- Oroloso sherry cask. Okay. Oroloso so, sherry cask. Okay. I'm guessing because it's rum-seasoned, that means okay. it aged rum in there? Is yep. that yeah. what that wording would mean? Yeah. So rum and or- or- sherry. Okay, and then what uh, what what proof are we looking at? Does We're looking that? at it at 102. 102. All right, we'll have to uh, take a quick break here. <laughs> All right, we're back. We got a uh, phone call there real quick, so I got to take care of business. We are an open shop right now, so we're trying to do things as things are a little slow, but someone could stop in at any time, or in that example, call, and uh, they were looking for Blantons, of course. Uh, yeah, of course, of course they, of course they, they were. were. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what they're Excuse looking me, for. Excuse me, sir, do you have any Blantons? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Let's give this thing a taste. Ooh. That's very nice on the nose. That is gorgeous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This, this is going to be... <laughs> Gonna be good, I feel. All right, let's taste it. Here we go. Oh man, yeah, yeah. that has got a layer of flavors. It's, it's like clean fruit. It's like a pear kind of. A, uh, the proof sits with you just really nicely. Yeah. Um, what's the proof again? One hundred two. One hundred two. Yeah. It hangs yeah. on too. That's yeah. beautiful yeah. for one hundred two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is really nice. Man, they're doing some good that, stuff. That there. is so fruity and delicious. We got to get these guys in here in St. Louis at the ABV Barrel Shop. So we'll I would have to agree. work on that. We'll yeah, get, we got to work agree. on that. They're they're are, are putting together some really nice stuff. So this is the second thing we've tried from them. I've liked both of them. So yeah, Th- this is fantastic. And this yeah. is my first one, and I yeah, <laughs> you're, I would you're, try more. You would try more. Hey, you're, you're in for more. That's good. So uh, congratulations to the team over at uh, Hemingway Whiskey. Uh, looking forward to everything that they've got going on based on the excitement they've created from allowing us to try a couple things. So we thank them for that. And on that note, we're going to wrap this one up like we always do by talking about where people can find us. Cop Brennan, where can people find you? Right here at the tasting bar at the AB Barrel Shop in Ottawa, Missouri. I'm in here a decent amount, so I'm sure you'll see me. Yeah, you just got, got a five-day streak recently, and yeah. uh, that was broken, unfortunately. And uh, you need to start a new streak, right? I, I'll get on it. I'll get yeah. on it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Darren, how about you? You can find me looking for this Hemingway Rye Whiskey at The Bourbon Adventures, also five days a week at the ABV Barrel Shop. All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got that company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us, ABV Barrel Shop. We are in Arnold, Missouri, which is a St. Louis suburb. Love to have you come by. You can try before you buy here, which is pretty darn nice. And uh, you know what? At a minimum, sign up for our email and text distribution. That way you know what events we've got going on what we have in stock, those sort of things. So do that over at abvbarrelshop.com. Please give us a five-star review. That's going to help new people find the show. And last but not least, if you want to get involved, head over to patreon.com slash the ABV network. On that note, we'll let you go for today. We'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye, y'all. See ya. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, 
or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's Birthday Barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world. Way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.